Greetings YouTube, this is Christopher McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today I'm excited to bring you a review of the Guild USA Built D55, which is finally back in production. Um, this is a stored guitar which we'll talk about, and uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm just tickled pink to play this. Um, it's a real treat, but first let's give you some history about why it's back in production, kind of what's happened with Guild. So Guild Guitars has been around for a while, um, and the D55 was actually introduced in 1968 as a special order model that sat at the top of the line, and it was so popular that eventually it joined the lineup, and it's been in production for a long time. It's one of those models that's that's uh, quintessential to the brand and famous in its own right. Lots of guys have played the D55 and made it famous through their music. Now, Guild has changed hands a few times where they've had different ownership, they've moved factories, and um, sometimes it was for better, sometimes it was for worse and whatnot. Recently, uh, Guild was owned by the Fender uh, company and was sold and purchased by the Cordoba Music Group. At that time, Ren Ferguson was at Guild as a master luthier. Now, if you don't know who Ren Ferguson is, Google Ren Ferguson. If you are a guitar player, you should know who Ren Ferguson is. He was responsible for some of the best stuff that came out of Gibson Acoustic Custom Shop for many years and was the premier talent at Guild uh, when they were sold to Cordoba. He's gone with Guild and he is now VP of uh, Manufacturing Design and whatnot at Cordoba Music Group. What he's doing with Guild is awesome, but in the transition, it's taken a while to come up with the guitars that are in new production because they moved across country from Connecticut to California. They took all of the stuff, all of the tooling, everything from the factory, and they set up shop there and began making guitars again. But they, you, here's what's refreshing. They took their time with it because they wanted to do it the right way, which kind of gives you everything you need to know about Ren. Um, and this guitar just speaks oodles of the talent that has gone into designing and building it. It is flawless, it's impeccable, it sounds amazing, and it's a joy to play and just listen to. So let's talk a bit about the specs on this guitar and what you get with a D55. So again, it's made in the USA. It is a dreadnought guitar. It features a AAA solid Sitka spruce top with East Indian rosewood back and sides that are perfectly book matched with matching sides as well. It is bound in this crisp white binding with what's called uh, parallel railroad purfling. So basically in the white binding, you have these parallel black stripes breaking up the white. Looks really nice. Tortoiseshell pit guard. Um, it has an ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard that's completely bound. The uh, headstock is adorned with the Guild G Shield, which is kind of famous for the brand. Gold Goto tuners, if you watch our videos, I'm a huge fan of Goto, and these are no exception. They feel amazing, they've got a great ratio to them. And um, adorning the fretboard are uh, split inlays of Mother, Mother of Pearl and Abalone. And I'm kind of chuckling because as I'm talking, the guitar's so resonant, I can feel it picking up what I'm saying. So maybe a, a, a little taste of what's to come when I play the guitar. Abalone rosette around the top, Underneath, the bracing is scalloped red spruce, which is what you'll find on Guild's website. Red spruce is also known as Adirondack spruce. So it's a Sitka spruce top braced with Adirondack. And the scalloped bracing, if you look in the sound hole, which you can't do because I'm sitting here with the guitar and you're watching a video on YouTube, but if you look down in the sound hole, you can actually see that even the bracing around the sound hole is scalloped, which is cool. Um, and it, 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 it just makes me interested in what else they've done as far as how they've done the bracing profile on this. The top also has a radius to it. It's a 30 inch radius on the top, bone nut and saddle, bone bridge pins, one and 11 sixteenths nut width, okay? They haven't defined what the curve of the neck is, but I'll give you an idea. It's basically a nice, comfortable C shape that flattens out as you move up the neck toward the body that also 
kind of follows the shape of the heel. So as you move up here, it, sh it kind of flattens out to more of a flatter D shape, which is real comfortable following the heel. It's a mahogany neck with uh, a strip of walnut down the middle, making it very stable. Modern truss rod appointments, medium fret wire, and a 12 inch radius. Okay, so all that to say, this glossy neck has a very comfortable shape to it. It's narrower, narrower than a lot of necks out there, but it's not too narrow. Um, and it's got a, a 12 inch radius, which is a little bit rounder than you'll find on a lot of makes like, for instance, Taylor or Martin. So it makes for a very comfortable playing feel to it. The whole guitar is finished in a gloss sprayed nitrocellulose finish. Um, and it, so it smells good and it feels good and it's gonna age beautifully. And it's also very thin, so it allows the guitar to resonate. And that's what this guitar does. It resonates, it sustains, it, you know, it's rosewood and spruce, so it's got low lows and high highs, you know, with kind of a scooped mid-range, but the, the amount of sustain and presence that is there on every single note on this guitar is, it, it's mind-boggling, to be honest with you, it's really impressive um, just to simply play. And I'll liken it to this, it's like really, really good chocolate cake. You ever have like chocolate cake, you're sitting at a restaurant, they put this giant, thick, tall slice of chocolate cake and you take a bite and you're like, wow, that's really rich. But it's like, oh, that's so good. You're getting some more chocolate cake and then the whole plate's gone and you're stealing someone else's chocolate cake. This is the chocolate cake of guitars, folks. It's that rich. So we're gonna play and hopefully you're, you're not listening to through laptop speakers because you'll do yourself an injustice. Put on some headphones, listen through some really good monitors so you can hear the rumble and richness of the Guild D55. Check it out.
So that's the new Guild USA D55 introduced 2017. These have been very hard to find because they really take their time and do it right. You know, one spec that I failed to mention is that the, the scale on this is 25 and 5 eighths, a little bit longer and maybe yield some of that girth and boom and, and volume, whatever it is, this is an amazing guitar. If you'd like more information about the specs on this guitar, go to our website, alamomusic.com, where you can also find pricing for this model and order the model. We'll ship it to you wherever you are, put it in your hot little hands and make sure that you enjoy it for many years to come. Find all sorts of stuff on there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send us an email, call us, come in and visit us. We want to help you find the right instrument to meet your needs and help you make joyous music and enrich your life and the life of others. As always, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe.